We're two retirees hooked on travel. Follow us on our journeys around the world. We just are departing our garage from our apartment. We're going to head to different areas of Burgas this morning so we can show you what it looks like during the day. This is our, our neighborhood where we live. This is where we shop for our kind of our local vegetables, our, our pharmacies nearby. And uh, we generally take a walk through this park right here to get to the city center. The city has a lot of parks. It, it provides a nice place for people to go outside of their apartments. It creates a lot of green space and shade. There's over 20 kilometers of bike paths throughout the city. And it's actually easier for us to take our bikes than it is to drive and try to figure out where to park. It's more fun and you can get all over the city with your bikes. The European lifestyle is that people just uh, do a lot of walking and in your little neighborhood you get used to shopping at your local meat shop, bakery, vegetable shop. Everything is within a block of your neighborhood. And then if we really want to stock up we go to the main grocery store with a car. I like to shop at the little lo local shops. It, it supports the community and you can get a lot of more unique items. Right now we're heading to the city center, the, the town square, the city square. Okay, this is the city uh, parking garage. It's a, it's a great place to bring your car. Down below there is a, a car wash. A lot of times we get our car wash there while we're out shopping. It costs two lev per hour, and uh, it's definitely worth it. You don't have to deal with trying to find somewhere to park in the street, and it's in the shade, it's safe. They have elevators that go right up into the city square, so we always park there, and once in a while we get our car, car washed. They detail it inside and out. Now this is the church, the main church of the city. They're renovating it right now. Here's where you come out uh, from the elevator when you, when you park the car down below. Here's where you come out, right here. So it's a perfect spot, You're right in the middle of town. There's a lot of cute shops here too, right along the side streets. They just opened up this coffee shop this year. Bulgaria borders Turkey, and Turkey is the biggest textile and has one of the biggest textile industries in the world. And they pretty much supply all of Europe for, with uh, textiles. So the, the, they have, uh, the, the fashion is very modern fashion. And the prices, you can't beat the prices and the quality, depending on which shop you're at, but the quality is great too. So this is a typical summer morning. Everybody's out walking the walking street, getting to their shops. They're in between where they're working on vacation. <laughs> this is the main city square, and they have all kinds of festivals here. The kids, they love this uh, like mist, this cool mist to stand in it. It's so cute. They're intrigued by it.
to my right is the courthouse. And there's a lot of apartments right here behind me. Actually, we looked at some of these apartments when we were hunting for somewhere to buy. There's some nice ones. When, when we first moved here, I was in shock to see all the babies in the baby carriages. First of all, you don't see baby carriages in the United States because there's nowhere to walk. But also, the Europeans, the Bulgarians, I don't know in other parts of Europe, but the Bulgarians get two years off for maternity leave, their first two years of the child's life, which is fantastic. So you see them out walking with their friends. They also have babies. It's really nice. Helps them bond with their children. Everybody's drinking coffee. There's quite a few money exchange places here too on the main street and they all exchange money at the same rate. You don't have to shop around. Here it's all a set rate no matter which one you go to. Right here is uh, Hotel Bulgaria. This building was completely renovated in the last two years. They could totally gutted it and redid the entire place. It's all nice, new, modern. They have a big restaurant in there, casino. This walking street going this way, it goes from one end all the way to the port and also to where the bus station is and the train station. If you get off the train or the bus, then uh, you can just come right across the street and you're right on this walking street, which is really nice. You can cover a lot of the nice, this whole area. Right here is another really nice uh, fountain for the kids. We're right across the street from the railroad station and the bus station. So if you were to come here by bus from Sunny Beach or wherever, or by train, then uh, it's about $8 to go to Nesaber from here. So you just get off the bus or the train and, and you come straight across the street and you're on the walking street. So if you just come up from the train station, bus station, and you walk up to this first crossing, take a right and this will take you to the park. In the last couple years, Burgess spent a lot of money renovating this entire street. They ripped everything down, they completely redid it, put in new lights, modernized it. It's beautiful. And they're redoing a lot of these built old buildings too. Right now, a lot of the restaurants are empty because everybody's at the beach. And then in the evening, they, have, they fill it all up and this whole street becomes busy and... Outside, it's so comfortable, you don't have to sit and sit inside to have a coffee. <laughs> I love all these flowers and they have they have like a mist coming down too that cool you off. If you're interested in seeing what uh, Burgess is like in the evening we have another video that we that we posted so just go ahead and check that video out. It's a completely different atmosphere at night. Like this restaurant next to me, it's, it's at night. It's it's completely packed. Not one, not one table available. All the restaurants, there's nothing available in the evening. So if you're here in the summer, make sure you get a reservation ahead of time for for dinner. This Happy Grill right here. In the evening, there's not one chair. In fact, they put tables all the way out here. Now we're approaching the crosswalk to go over into the park and the seafront. I love the park, it's huge. It goes all along the whole seafront. 
It's clean and it's well maintained, well manicured. And they have all kinds of festivals going on here. Right here is the best viewpoint of the whole city. Now, these flowers are well kept and ice in the wintertime, they change them out to winter, winter flowers. They completely redo all these flowers a couple, two, three times a year based on the season. And they're maintained 100%. It's just beautiful. Never seen a park like that. And now we're on the dedicated bike path. This trail takes you straight down to the port area. And if you are getting off a cruise ship, the port area is where you'll disembark. Okay, right behind me is a five-star resort. It's called Primoritz. It's a really nice hotel. It has a, a spa, gym. It also has a dedicated beachfront area during the summer. I really like the waterfront down here. If it's really windy on the beach, you can come over here and uh, sit out here and have a dinner or breakfast and kind of be protected. It's fun to watch the port boats, port ships be unloaded. If you like seafood, these restaurants here to my left have excellent seafood. They have a lot of fish, those little sardines that people like to eat, lots of octopus. Of course, your famous Bulgarian salads. And if you want to go out to the St. Anastasia Island, this is where it departs. Behind me is a crane. It's there for looks now. It's defunct. But it gives you an idea how big they are. This is what they use to offload the ships. This is the Burgess passenger terminal. If you come in on a cruise ship, this is where you'll, you will disembark. On a hot day, it's really nice to come down to the park because you're in the shade. I like this area too to my left. The little kids, they can play on this, these bridges and stuff. So it's a little bit different uh, playground. This bridge is one of my favorites. They actually built this bridge strictly for walking out on the beach. Right now we're at the peak of the season. It's not as busy as it normally is. They're getting uh, about 175 flights a day into our local uh, airport. And normally pre-pandemic times, or they were getting 270 flights per day. So they're down 100 flights per day. There's a lot of things. There's post-pandemic, there's recession, plus there's the unfortunate war going on. Over to the right is where we live in that big white building. It's one of the newer buildings. We're glad we moved over there and out, out of the uh, rat race of the city center where I showed you earlier. <laughs> we see a lot of these guys out here fishing. <laughs> I don't think they catch much. If anything, maybe a fish here and there, little tiny ones. It gets them out of the house. It gives them something to do.
This bar is one of my favorites because we can ride our bikes down here all year round. Baywatch Bar. It's all enclosed during the wintertime and you can come down when, and get in there and it's warm and have a drink. And then during the summer, they put out all these neat beanbag chairs as contemporary and as new. Higher Park runs the whole city front of Burgess. Beautiful. And there's different levels. There's like three levels, three or four levels. We've been showing you all kinds of beaches all over the Bulgarian Black Sea Riviera, but you've never seen us go to the beach. And today we're gonna go down to the beach. We're gonna swim and enjoy the waterfront, the warm water. It's just right across the street from our, from our home. A lot of places in, that we've traveled around the world, the beachfront is overran by expensive homes, huge developments, hotels. You can't even get to the beach. And what I love most about Burgas is this whole front of the city is all dedicated to this beautiful park and to the seafront. So everyone can go down and enjoy it. You can see it, you can use it. It's not hidden behind closed walls. Uh, it's great. This restaurant, there's quite a few new restaurants here this year, and this is a new one. They have great food. It's very contemporary. Most of these structures here are temporary. They close them up during the, during the winter time. They're designed in such a way that they can just shut all the doors and put down the sh shutters and lock it all up. Well, there's a machine that, that cleans the that cleans the beach. Yeah, it is. They, it's especially made and it picks up all the garbage and it sifts through the sand. It's really nice. Keeps the beach clean. Yeah, Bede's doing it by hand with a rake for sure. <laughs> and then these these uh, sidewalks here, they're all put down just for the summertime. And these palm trees are not real. <laughs> they're all in pots and they're completely artificial. But it gives you the feeling you're in the Caribbean. And, and you don't even know what it is in the wintertime because it's all shut down. They put all the furniture inside and pass, you know, pile it way up high. Well, there's a few reserved, but there's some that aren't. We're, we, we're, we got into our day bed. It's, we're kicked back. It's extremely comfortable and relaxing. It's uh, 20 lev per day, which is about approximately $10 US for the entire day. And we like this one because you can get the shade and they also wait on you at your table some, or your day bed. Some of them don't do that. You have to go up and, and get your own stuff. But I, I like this relaxing, being waited on in front of the water. You can people watch, read a book, listen to the waves. It's very, very tranquil. <laughs> I'm finding that Bulgaria is an extremely trusting, extremely trusting country. And in kind, you trust them back. I mean, it's, 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 it's way different than a lot of other places I've been, and especially the United States. Everything has to be paid ahead, reserved ahead with money. You cancel, you're gonna pay, everything. One of the things that shocks me is when I order stuff online, um, I, I order some, some shoes. The delivery man brought it right to my front door. He stood there with his credit card payment machine on his belt. And he said, go ahead and try them on. And if they don't fit, I'll just take them back. You don't have to pay. That was amazing. So uh, they did fit. And uh, he went ahead and ran my credit card right on his little machine in front of me and gave me the receipt. It's unbelievable service. Shocking. <laughs> I've been finding I can order stuff anywhere in the European Union and also out of the, Euro the UK. And it's delivered right to my front door within two to three days. It's fantastic. Yeah, I, I, don't, I can order anything on Amazon from, usually I go through Germany. They have a pretty good site. And within three or four days, uh, I get a call. They always call first, the delivery guys. They call, and that way you know you're going to be home. And they bring it right up to the front door. You can't do it. You, you don't have to go without anything that you're used to living here. 
We like this restaurant, it's open year round. They have a pretty good menu. It has authentic Bulgarian food. Wow, look at this. Look at how cute they are. It's like you could get shade, they're big. This is our building right here. Yep. Here in our vending machines out on the street, you can buy any kind of beer, any kind of beer you want to for about a dollar, different kinds of uh, Cokes, candies. But it's interesting you can buy beer on the street. How about the coffee? Okay. <laughs> She's bringing them in from their local farm and uh, they're fresh, they're just picked. And she brings them in every single day. And the tomatoes are beautiful. So she's selling fresh, fresh picked uh, tomatoes locally for 50 cents a pound. And they're, they're ripe, they're tasty. It's nothing like what you get in the grocery stores. They're not picked green. This is a puppish and the watermelon is dinia. Iskam parta dinya. Molya. Merci. Ciao.